Now, the story of historic treasures that could be hiding in plain sight in older buildings throughout Metro Detroit. Today, a surprising discovery confirmed inside a classroom over in Inkster. It all started when our own Paula Tupman thought she saw something special. Take a look. Full disclosure, I love ceramics, but that is why I actually noticed this fireplace around while at this school last January working on an entirely different story. Tomlinson Middle School built in 1929 on the border of Inkster and Dearborn Heights and inside a first floor classroom, I happened to notice a fireplace kind of hidden behind classroom storage. And in these older buildings, there isn't storage like something in new construction. So we just utilize what we can. I took pictures, sent them to ceramic experts around the country, and that's when Powabic Pottery, right here in Detroit, became aware I was searching for information about the tiles. Today, two experts from Powabic visited the school, anxious to see beyond the photos. The edges are pretty sharp. So this is a storybook fireplace, and these are different children's um, stories that are depicted here. It's even more charming in person. Inspecting the tiles, they found the valuable clues. This is kind of more of an embossed effect. Seeing it and being able to kind of feel it. Um, really helps. There's a lot of information we can get from this. We can even see the clay body. These would have definitely been kind of a handcrafted art tile. They looked at the design. The chips gave them information of what's behind the glaze and the verdict. These were likely made by Flint Fayance Tile Company. The fireplace around in the back of the eighth grade social studies class used as storage is not only historically valuable, but because it's intact and in such great shape, nearly invaluable. Flint Fiance and GM actually made these tiles in the 20s as sort of a side hustle. They did um, kind of an assessment and a study and found that firing the kilns all night was more cost efficient. And so they started creating art tile in the evening and spark plugs during the day. The tiles were sold and the purchasers of some of Michigan's oldest homes installed them. But today, they are being quickly destroyed when homeowners don't realize the value and don't care for the aesthetic. They're not going to realize what it is that they have and that they're going to make a knee-jerk reaction um, to kind of go with contemporary style versus something that has the ability of being a little bit more timeless. I just encourage people to kind of think about it, do a little bit of research. Priceless and historic, much to the sheer shock of the principal. That's pretty exciting news. Okay, so obviously these days it's just not possible to gather children around a roaring fire and a fireplace around for story time. However, because of what was discovered today, the principal tells me that this will now become a focal point of the classroom rather than an afterthought for storage. Paula Tutman, Local 4. Good job, Paula. We appreciate it. By the way, the experts of Puabic say these kinds of tiles are disappearing so quickly throughout Michigan and Ohio. And they're asking homeowners and people purchasing old homes to fully investigate old tiles and tiling in their home before tearing them out, painting over them or maybe changing them in any way.